God. Oosh, Joy Moss with Bad Boy MTG, and we're going to be busting open another repack. I know. Disclaimer. Please, for the love of goodness sake, let me spend my money so you don't have to. Repacks. In my experience, 95% of repacks, you will not get your money back. That all being said, moving forward, these are strictly for entertainment purposes. On occasion... On an occasion, I do pretty good, and that feels good, and we get some value out of it. But that's not always the case. Usually, it's not the case. But I think these are really cool and entertaining videos. So this one was $15 each. I purchased eight of them, including shipping and tax. It came to $129 and like 80 cents, I believe. Um, let's take a look. Feedback is terrible, 94.9%. Uh, positive feedback. So, like, three people were like, dude, you suck. You know, basically is what happened here. Um, no, like two, like two people, three people. Yeah, three people. So, it says, Grim Monolith, Wheel of Fortune, Sliver Queen. <sighs> I'm a sucker, dude. This is the second time I've came across something that had Sliver Queen in it. And I'm like, oh, 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 I'm gonna get that. You know, <laughs> if you're a sucker for something like that, too, like, there, there's something that just pops up, you know, whether it's in your normal day-to-day -day life or whatever the case may be, you have no choice. You just click on it and you're like, oh, sweet. Yeah, <laughs> that little sliver queen's the one that gets me all the time. 50 card repacks. So yeah, we got eight of these puppies we're gonna be cracking. Here is what I saw going through it. Vampiric tutor, um, personal tutor. There's a whole bunch of toots going on here. A grim monolith. There looks like some expeditions as well. There's wheel of fortune. Uh, Mr. Tudor's Tootin. Uh, there's the Grim Monolith. Looks like a little ding right there in it, possibly. It's a ding on these. Um, not the best shape in the world. Wow, windswept heath, you know, awesome. Uh, then you get a bunch of lands from, like, the unglued or unhinged sets, or not unhinged, the unsets. We'll call it the unsets. There you go. And uh, those are pretty hot to trap. People like those always. Lotus Petals from uh, Tempest, the OG one, not the uh, reprint one from Mystery Boosters. And then I saw some of this. I saw the promo card. I'm like, that's cool, too. You got some Jaces, uh, Karn Sign of Urza. Looks like one might be foil. Maybe both are. It's hard to really tell there. Um, Hot Lay, Nicole Bolas, Planeswalker. Some decent value here. And then some bigger value with Ugin, Spirit Dragon, a Johnny Goldmane, etc., etc. Uh, next page has Ulamog, Infinite Gyre, which is a sweet card. Ember Cool. Um, and Cosmic Butcher of Truth with... Palancron. If you, there are some Palancrons really up in here, that is phenomenal, man. Brain Geysers, which have gone up in value recently, too. Um, Morphlings, um, Exploration, Burgeoning. There's a lot of value here. Phyrexian Arenas, uh, Crow Moxes times four, and Force of Wills. There's the old mighty Sliver Queen. And uh, here's some Tolarian Academies, Eye of Ugin, Dark Depths, Mox Opals, Metal Worker. You're getting the idea here. Uh, Kiki Jiki, Encrypted Command, Cloud Key. Cloud Key, interesting to see that. I remember pulling a foil of that, and I almost crapped my pants. I don't know if I still have it, but... Anyway, um, the seller seemed like he's just... Whatever. Here's what I got, dude. Um, take it or leave it. Most cards are in near mint. Uh, I'm sorry, most cards are in near or in mint to near mint. Usually supposed to put near mint to mint, but that's all right. Condition, they are some, uh, there are some that will be lightly played, which I pointed out right away. While I am not a professional grader, I will not, I will not try to include anything that is played condition or worse. The only expect, exception is a grid monolith listed in played condition. All repacks will include cards from revised to battle for Zendikar and will include the following three rares, nine uncommons, 33 commons, five lands, Maybe we get some luck with the, the common or uncommon slot. We'll see. All repacks will have a chance at the following cards. And then he throw down the tutors. You know, the whole list goes on here. The Force of Will, yada, yada, yada. Several others valued over 50 bucks. Uh, while not all repacks will have an expected value of the purchase price, many do. Please message me if you have any questions. Um, also, there's the yeah, random inserts. Okay. Again, it's a repack, guys. Let's dive into this. Is this guy legit or not? I like to buy a decent size. I don't know if you guys are, have noticed that, but I don't go cheap when I buy repacks. I'm going to get a good sample of what BS you're selling people. And we're going to correct you on the internet in this video, if you cabbage. Enjoy the video, guys. Let's see what this guy's all about.
Let's see what's inside. Let's see what's up in here. Is it worth it to purchase from this repack seller? I don't know. But we will learn to get what the heck. Swamps is what's going on. Swamp, 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 swamps for days. That is it. Empty. All right. Hey, sometimes, and I mean sometimes, you have better luck with a repack than a booster pack spending the same money. It really depends on the seller. Trust me on that. All right, let's go. By the end of this video, we shall know a bit more information. What's up with this rapaging? Okay. Oh, there we go, Daddy-O. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's nothing amazing. I confused it with the other Yavimaya uh, from Modern Horizons 2. Um, that caught me off guard, though. Okay, so there's one of our rears. That's pretty cool. Got a little island. Uh, island Forest. Solitary Champion. The old shadow. Okay. Death's Presence. Ugh, that's some bulkage, man. That's some bulkage. D uh, Dark Betrayal. Destroy target black creature. One black mana. Great sideboard. Uh, never sees black. Got Chroma's Devoted. Attacking doesn't cause clerics to tap. Okay. Slime Molding. Here's some more uncommons. Juggernaut. Oh no, is that it for that? Phantom Warrior 7th Edition. Give me some 7th Edition foils. Master of the Veil. Master of the Vile. Bull Hippo. Bull Hippo. Okay. Oh boy. Mystic Monastery. That might be like a buck. Uh, reckless spite straight two target non-black creatures who's five life oh that's huh oh you well if you lose five life it kind of sucks light bringer try to go through this a little quick crowd's favor was that reprinted in a uh, battle bomb seems like it would be nim lasher i don't know about that right, guys we got carry on rats elvish warrior elvish warrior two three okay liquefy I'm going to go through this a little quicker here. Orc Ranger. What the heck? Look at the art on that thing. I don't think I've ever seen that Snake Warrior before. Interesting. Gem Palm Polluter. Disdainful Stroke. I like that card. The old, all the way back to Urza's Legacy. That's kind of cool. And there's some more Urza's Legacy. And some Exodus. And whatever that is. Um, uh, dark. I don't know. Dissension. Uh, Exhum. Ur Golem's Eye. I can't see that being worth much. Compare that to a soul ring. Chromatic sphere. Chromatic sphere. Hmm. Rootwalla, nothing. Eagle of blah. Quick sliver. Quick sliver's fun. No, it's not. Okay, so far. Man, there's a lot of cards to add up here for the commons. I'm not gonna get carried away. I think we're gonna do like what 25, 50, 50 cents and up. Sift. I like that. Um uh, card art from back in the day. Vampire Hounds plated. Sea Strider. Skink, Font, and Pride Guardian. Okay. That took a very long time. Um, I don't like there's so many freaking commons. It reminds me of like a jumbo. Of like a jumbo football pack or something, you know? Um, or like sports card pack. A crone horse. Cabbage? Mm, okay, that's not good. Ooh, Lady of Scrolls. Tap an untapped wizard you control. Draw a card. Dies to shock. I don't think that's gonna be that great. Oh, okay. That's a little that's a little something. Card sign of Urza, step in the right direction. I remember there was a time when this I pulled this uh foil out of like what was it? I don't know. Something that came in like two booster packs and some other cards, uh the Planes of Worker decks, I don't know what the heck it was. But the foil, I sold it on eBay. Last time I this is probably one of the last times I sold a card. $115 un freaking real yeah at that time that's what it went for i'm like it's never going to maintain that price uh volcanic fallout corrupt i like corrupt uh ooh, get a load of that suck face oh man wake up in the morning to that <laughs> okay all right we got the uh chariot some of these might be worth something is that dark steel what is that turn to frog asian of mass let me go through this a little quicker if you want to see something, just pause it. Source to Plowshares is cool. Doom Blade. And then here comes the commons. I wonder if we end up pulling, like, a $2, $3 common. It might happen. Hunt the Weak. Ornithopter. Okay. Um, 
That's a goblin with flying? Really? One, two, okay. Mana Geyser. Okay, can't be certain with all the commons what's going to stand out here. I, I bet there's at least two or three that we pull that are over a dollar and then a bunch of like 50 cents. Celtite Banner, maybe. Phyrexian Driver. There's just so many to go over. I don't want to take forever in a day. Wooly Loxodon. Wooly Loxodon, still okay. Yeah, I like that we pulled a Karn. But really, other than that so far, I don't think there's really been much value. Um, yeah. It'd be cool if we ended up with a Mind Games. Hey, look at that guy. I always like this art of this guy. Creepy as hell. Creepy as hell. Sick and tired. Um, it'd be cool if we ended up with a reserve list card, but I highly doubt that. But remember, we did buy a whole bunch of these in hopes and dreams that we pull something along those lines. Because from the listing, there is some high dollar cards that you could possibly get out of this. But it looks like it's more of a crap show than anything. Planes, <laughs> forest, okay. Load stone mirror with a trample. Tap and untap artifact you control. Mirror gets plus one, plus one to one of turn. Probably not that great. I'd say that's not good. Hydra Broodmaster, cool card, but mm, again, bulkage. Wall of Reverence. I recently learned this is actually not a bad card and it has some value to it. And it looks like it's in basically mint condition. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't too bad. I'm pr maybe. I'm happy 100%. Okay, Dis Disciple of Deceit. River of Deceit. That's right. Okay. Modular is fun. When are we going to bring Modular back? Synod Centurion. Almost looks like Karn and like some different kind of armor. Blood host. <sighs> Love the art. Love the art on that. Okay. Not really. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many different sets here. Variety is cool. But, yeah, variety is cool. Barrage of Expendables. Hmm. That might be worth something. Well, then you're going to get to pay one. Yeah, one each time. If you just sacked it to do it, that'd be sweet. The world rot. Green. Uh, not a cloud. Downsize. Okay. Not really certain what to make of this. I will give it this. There's a lot of variety. Value-wise, it doesn't look like there's too much. But again, there's a lot of commons here I've never even seen. You know, I don't know all the, what is it, 16,000 cards? Who can tell me how many cards are in Magic? Who can tell me? Um, original, like well, unique cards. Uh, Lightning Talons, blah, blah, blah. Epiphany Storm and Grounded. You are grounded, sir. I was always grounded when I was younger. I was always grounded. And then I'm like, I'm just going to behave worse. And then my parents just are like, all right, get the hell out of the house. <laughs> That's how you get out of being grounded, kids. All right. Hero's Podium. Uh, Hero's Podium. Legendary Artifact. A lot of legend, um, a decent amount of legendaries in here in the rare slot, I noticed. Okay. Scope. Oh, because I was going to search your library for protect space land. Players who control at least two more lands than you. Put those in. Okay. I can see that serving a purpose. You know, you just run, like, not a lot of lands <laughs> and see what happens with that. Captain of the Watch. I like this card. Just, you know, other social creatures you control get plus one, plus one vigilance. I really don't like that card. It's kind of crappy. I thought it was something else. Uncontrollable Anger. I'm about to have that if we don't hit some value here, but we're going to find out all... When I'm doing the edits, Soul Sworn Spirit. That card looks cool. Unblockable stuff. Always has potential. There's Wonder. Jace's Ingenuity. Duplication. That might have been the first duplication we've had. Never again. Uh, never mind. Source of Plowshares. It's cool. He's throw and Doomblade. I mean, those are good removal. Source of Plowshares and Doomblade. Those are legit, man. Bone Splitter. Yeah, those are legit. Goblin Sky Raider. Okay. Power of Fire. I don't know why I feel like that might be worth something. Scout. A lot of this set symbol. Is that Dark Steel? Probably not. Maybe it is. Glacial Stalker. A lot of acts. I love that card. Uh, some banners. It's cool. I mean, there. this is... You'd probably be able to crack one of these and just say, all right, battle someone, you know? And, like, draft. Not even draft. Just like, hey, I get one of these, you get one of these. 
we put in lands, and we go at it. <laughs> you could probably do that with this. Again, it would be five colors, but there's a mirror. Yeah, I mean, that's something. Mind games, duplication, okay. Cloaky, Goblin Patrol, and that's going to take it to the end there with that. Uh, yeah, it's too early to say anything. I think we're going to have to hit one of those, like, lotto cards in order for this to be worth a damn. Uh, so that's where I'm at right now. I see a foil, though. That's pretty cool. Um, we got an Island, Dawnbringer, Charioteers. All right. Johnny's Chosen. Okay. That's not bad. 3-3. Three, three. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a 2-2 two, two white cat creature token on the battlefield. If that enchantment is an aura, you may attach it to the token. That's kind of cool. That's foil from 2014 when foils were not printed out the wazoo. Reaper of the Wilds. That's some bulky. So this might, I'm guessing, maybe like five bucks. I'm guessing. Just got Elder. What would it do? Prowess is always cool, though. Swallowing Plague. Okay. Smallpox. Sanctum. Okay. Factor Fiction. There was a time that was a couple bucks, but it's been printed a bunch recently in the last couple of years. Mission cost. Boil. Destroy all islands. <laughs> I, if this said and cannot be countered, oh my god. Dude, I would I would crap the bed. That'd be so freaking sweet. There's a lightning strike. That's dark steel, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this would be fun. I might sit down with the uh, the kiddos or the woman or or myself and play myself with uh, just one of these things. But that's not giving it credit, really. Cranial plating. I mean, we are looking to get some kind of value back, but. In this kind, because I purchased, what was it, seven or eight? I was trying to make a run at it that I'm going to hit a lotto card. And that was kind of the goal I had in mind. And if we don't, that really sucks. That mana leak might be worth a buck or two. Um, that's why I got such a decent size. But I always do that to get a good sample size. We have three left. Three freaking left. If I had to guess value right now, I'd say we're probably around... 25 bucks. About 25. I was thinking 30 at first, but probably 25. Who cares about the lands? Caves of Kodios. Okay. That might be two bucks. Blessing. That's an old blessing from uh, fourth edition. Okay. Nice fourth edition blessing. There you go. Shape of Wittigo. I've, oh, I've seen this once before. It was a rare, though. Chant creature. Uh, put six plus one plus one counters on a chain of creature at the beginning of your upkeep. Put a plus one plus one counter on a chain of creature. And then attach your blast and she'll ask the other reason we plus one plus one. Stipulations there. Heat ray. Okay. There's a foil. Fire shrieker foil. Hot dogs. I like how the, uh, the flame shoots out of that. That's from Mirrodin, right? I believe so. This guy. Crafted war gear. It's not bad. There's there's good variety, man. And uh, a lot of the a lot of the older sets, I was expecting, which I usually expect with a lot of repacks like this. Temple of the False God. Is that one of the cards that's worth like five ten bucks? Maybe. But I was expecting a lot more recent, like the more bulkier stuff, like a bunch of gate crash. Uh, more uh, recent, like, core set. I know he said he wasn't going, uh, uh, what was it, Oath? Oath of Gatewatch, I think he said. You know, nothing uh, past Oath of Gatewatch. So, <sighs> Spore Mound, there you go. About Face, there you go. Never seen that card before. I've heard of it in a different, well, not, not that art, I should say. <laughs> um, here. Arcane Spyglass, uh, 2015. Yeah, like uh, Th Theros. I was expecting a bunch of bulk from Theros or something. But he definitely mixed it up. He definitely mixed it up. Cool to see Urza's Legacy and Sa um, Saga, but none of those are really worth a damn uh, that, I've, that I've came across so far. Lawbringer, sure. All right, we are down to two. Um, hitting a Karn was cool. And that other card, the foil, was not bad. 
But other than that, looking shitty. Foil Island from 2015, that might be a buck. Cabbage. Good luck finding someone that's going to pay a buck for that, though. I'm just saying. Haunted Plate Mail. I doubt it went up in price. Cabbage. <sighs> okay. Uh, it's got Anthem effects and something. Oh, just, no. So these three rares were just shit. Yeah, uh, poopy. Okay, grab the reins. It looks like our value might be more so in the uncommon section here. There's a foil called Conclave. Armory. Tempest of Light. Ulcerate. Bunch of dudes hanging out. Bone Shritter. Control Hide. Uh, some more duplication. You can tell when this guy collected for sure. I think it might be one of our first Destiny there. Lightning Talons. Cool that we get like a random banner here and there. A lot of pendants, charms, things like that. Typhoid Rats, Tolarian Winds. It's like the third Tolarian Winds. Got all the mirrors, I'd say. Avenging Druid. Cool card. A third mind game. SWAT. Human Wizard Boy. Okay. Ugh. Last one. Um... Right now, it's it's a no unless I hit something decent. Like unless if I hit like another ten dollar card, then it's maybe a yeah. But right now, it's like eh, the, the, oh nah, come on. The variety is cool though. Another Yavamaya Coast. Uh, another oh that's duplications. I'll tell you, champion. No, no, not a fatal intervention. Oh, it's card sucks. Okay, oh god, deal of Erebus. No, yeah. I, I would have to say it's probably a no for me. I mean, spend a decent amount of money, hit a couple cool cards, but other than that, unless there's like some five ten dollar gems up in here, that's cool. By the black rose, um, yeah, <sighs> foil, some kill whatever, uh, carry on. Yeah, no, 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 guys. This one was probably, man, I want to say it was one of the most disappointing ones. And remember, we are kind of nickel and diming it. Whatever I'm adding, 25 cents and up, 50 cents and up. The rest is just ball crap, you know. That is being, that's not being petty. That's being generous when I do it that way. So, all things considered, I highly doubt we got our value back. And if we did, it's a freaking miracle. It was cool to see some different cards, but... Cabbage? Uh, that was a decent buck to spend, man. Uh, I'm going to go with th uh, thumbs down. Uh, stay away from this one. It's uh, it's it's not worth it. Um, spending 80, well, how much did I spend? 100 some bucks? I don't know what it was. I can't remember exactly. But it, not hitting something decent out of eight of these purchased. I think they were like, what, 15 each, 14 each, whatever it was. Not good. Like, kind of hurts the soul, makes you think, maybe there's no lotto cards in there. But he did have a lot. He has three to 400 or 500 available. I, I tend to stay away from the ones that are that high. Usually the better repacks, pay attention here, the better repacks, the person has at most like 100. Like sometimes like 50 available, you know, 100 available. Those ones I've noticed tend to maintain more value and the seller is a bit more honest once you start going into the three four five hundred a thousand plus range you're you're chasing a dream man and you got to put that dream away and just forget about it because once you get that repack it's almost always a nightmare so that's uh, words of wisdom from doing this for four freaking years over 60 repacks now um, you want to see some good sellers, check out the repack series. I'll leave the whole repack series up here. Or you can find it. Just go to my main channel and the main page and you can find it. There's a playlist there full of it, man. Appreciate you guys. Um, hey, you can't win them all. And uh, I almost always expecting to lose on these. So I spent my money so you didn't have to. Get out of here. Skadoosh. Skadoosh.